In this awesome After Effects tutorial, we're going to take a look at creating shape transitions for motion graphics. Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film, and welcome to our channel. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. So this is a very simple tutorial, but we're going to be working with obviously shape transitions that are going to reveal on two different types of motion graphics scenes together. So without any more talking, let's jump into the tutorial. Let's get started. All right, we have After Effects loaded up and we're gonna talk about creating three different types of shape transitions for our two motion graphics scenes here. So for our first transition, we'll create this nice triangle reveal and it's very easy to do this. So what we'll do is come here to the top and we'll grab our shapes and we'll grab the polygon tool. And all we're gonna do is come here and just draw out a polygon wherever. And then we're gonna come here to the line tab and center this up. If you don't see the line tab, go to window align and then let's open up the polystar one go to the path one and we can set the number of points to however points we want to do. we'll just do three because we want to create a triangle and now we can just stretch this out to go across our composition like this and then let's go into our transform polystar one and let's just scale this up to fill up our composition like this awesome then we'll do is hit p on keyboard for position we'll add a keyframe for this and we'll move this keyframe forward in time maybe like a second or so and we'll be a little quicker than that and we'll bring this down all the way and now we'll just get this animation like so. And we'll make both these keyframes easy, ease keyframes by hitting F9 on our keyboard. Then we'll, what we'll do here is duplicate this layer. And you go up to edit, duplicate. And toggle switch to the modes until you see the track mat. And set the track mat for our first layer to alpha inverted mat. And then offset the top layer in time just by a little bit. So now we have this transition. And we can just move these layers over above the cut. And we can easily change the color to whatever color we want. And now we have our own custom shape transition using the polygon tool. All right, so now that we got one shape transition on the way, let's talk about using the ellipse tool to just use a circle to reveal this on. So come over here and let's grab the ellipse tool. And this time we'll draw this out from the center and we'll center this up with our line tab again. And this time we'll control double click the hand behind tool to put that anchor point in the center. It's a lot easier this way. And then what we'll do here is hit S on keyboard for scale. And we'll add this keyframe forward and we'll scale this up to be the entire you know, size of the composition. Move this keyframe forward to almost a second and bring the scale down to 0%. So now we'll get this animation and of course, we'll want to make them easy, ease keyframes. And now what we'll do here is duplicate this, do the same thing again, set the track map to alpha inverted mat and move this over a little bit. Just in time, offset it. So boom, now we have a circle. And what we can do here is grab both our layers and duplicate them, bring them back in time by a touch. And now we can just change the color nice and we'll do we'll do one more duplicate here and we'll bring this back to the same color beautiful and now we have our nice circle transition revealing onto our next scene and now we have our third transition where we're going to use the pen tool to create a nice line animation so what we'll do here is grab our pen tool here at the top and we'll turn click on the word fill and set it to none click ok and we'll click on the word stroke and set it to solid color and click ok then we'll click a point here in the corner and go to the other corner here and click a point going across. And then we'll go into the shape one here, go into the stroke and we'll set the stroke width down to zero. Add a keyframe for it and we'll move this, go forward a little bit in time and then we'll set this up to go all the way across our composition like this. Awesome. And then of course make them easy, ease keyframes. And now we'll duplicate our shape layer and set the track mat to alpha inverted mat and offset it in time. And now with our transition in place, we're able to reveal onto our next scene and it looks very seamless with our nice shape transitions. There's so many different ways you can create transitions. And of course, if you're doing a lot of work that takes a lot of time and is repetitive, I always suggest taking a look at, you know, templates. And of course, we have an awesome template here called uh, Toko, which has 1350 elements that you can easily bring into any After Effects project. You may have seen this in some of my other tutorials where we're able to easily preview what we want to bring in. So for example, these are transitions up here in the corner and I can click on apply and putting this at the cut of my footage, I automatically applied a transition within just a couple of clicks. In this pack called Toko, there are so many different elements other than transitions. Of course, there's plenty of pre-made titles that you can obviously preview. There are tons of lower thirds you know, to even infographics plenty of logo reveals and so much more just within this pack and if you want to learn more about 
Toko on how you can save time with all your motion graphic needs. You can check the links in the video description. It'll take you right over to the 1350 elements where you can preview all of them. So that wraps up our tutorial on creating transitions for motion graphics. If you want to learn more about motion graphics, you can be sure to hit that subscribe button because we post multiple post-production tutorials every single week right here on the channel. You can also hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are in the video description. And always, be creative.